Good morning. Well, I have a moment with your moms. I'd like you guys to get your Bibles out and turn to the Old Testament, Jeremiah chapter 29. Moms, since the packets haven't gone out yet this month, I'm trying to make it easy for you today. So all we'll need are a pair of scissors, two sheets of white paper, and a pencil. Okay? All right. Well, kids, today, in today's Bible adventure, we learn about a time that the Israelites were captives in a place called Babylon. God told them to build homes and plant vineyards, and he told them to marry and have families. They were to plan on being in Babylon for 70 years. That's a long time. But the Israelites had a promise from God about a plan he had for them, and that gave them hope. God told them that after 70 years, they would go back home to Jerusalem and they would have everything they had before. Now, having a plan gave the Israelites hope. In Jeremiah 29, 11, God told the Israelites that he had good plans for them, plans to give them hope and a future. So let's take out your first piece of paper and I'd like you to fold it in half. And I would like you to use your scissors to create a handle like this. So that it looks like a suitcase. Okay, so fold it in half. This is the long way. All right, and then create a handle with your scissors. All right, when you're finished with that, I would like you to think about these questions. How would you plan what to take on a trip? And what things would be important for you to know about your trip? And how about this? What would you bring if you knew you were going to be gone for a long time? I'd like you to draw pictures inside your suitcase of what you would bring. Okay? I mean, look at here. So fill up the inside with pictures of things you would bring. Like for me, let's see, I would definitely bring my Bible. So I'm going to draw a picture of my Bible right here. It's going to be the very first thing that I draw a picture of because that's important for me. Okay. And I'll show you as soon as I'm done. Okay. Hang on. All right. There I go. All right. So I drew a picture of my Bible because that's important for me to take. What else should I take with me on a long trip? Well, if I was going to be gone for a long time, there would be a lot of things I would want to take. Maybe I would definitely need to take some clothes, right? So I'm going to draw a picture of a t-shirt here. Can you guys draw a picture of your favorite clothes? Let's see, t-shirt and some pants, because that would be important too. We don't want to run around without any clothes on, right? Okay, so let's see. All right. There we go. Okay, so there's my t-shirt and my pants. What other kinds of things should you take with you on a long journey? Well, they probably would have taken some food. What do you think? Yeah. So I'm going to draw some food here because that would be important to take on a long journey. Okay. Okay, so what other kinds of things should we take? I would like you to take just a couple of minutes and if you need to pause the video to fill up your suitcase with pictures of things that you would take with you on your long trip, then I want you to do that, okay? And if you uh, finish filling up your suitcase when you're done, you can come back, push play, and we'll continue with our Bible adventure, okay? All right, so if you have filled your suitcase up with the stuff you would take with you on your vacation, let's continue with our story. Okay, fold that up and put it to the side. Okay, here's some questions for you. How many of you know what you want to be when you grow up? And how do you think you'll get there? Okay, will you need to go to school? Uh, trade school? Will you need to go work with somebody who's doing that job already? Do you need to go to college, get what kind of degrees, anything like that? So I want you to take out another blank sheet of paper and I want you to write down the plans for your life. So I want you to include things like where you're going to live, um, what school you're going to go to, what you're going to study, um, when you get out of school, what kind of a job are you going to have? And then other things too, like are you going to get married? 
Are you going to do any kind of work in the church for God? Are you going to become a missionary maybe? Or maybe you'll become a teacher or a doctor or a pastor. These are all important parts of your plans. So that's what I want you to do now is just pause the video for a couple of minutes while you fill out your plans for your life, okay? All right, when you're done, come on back and push play. All right, you guys done with your plans now? Was creating your plans for your life easy or hard? How are our plans different from God's plans? Well, we know that God's plans are perfect, and we know that he knows what's best for us. So our plans are probably missing some things that God feels are important. Just like the plans for my life are completely different than what I had in mind for my life. But that doesn't mean that I'm sad about it. I'm actually really happy about the way that God planned for my life to go. All right. Let's go ahead and get our Bibles out and actually look at the scripture we're talking about today. It's Jeremiah 29, verse 11. Pause if you need to while you find the verse. All right, let's see what it says. It says, I say this because I know what I have planned for you, says the Lord. I have good plans for you. I don't plan to hurt you. I plan to give you hope and a future. Well, what does this verse say about God's plans for us? Well, it says that God's plans for us are good. He doesn't plan for us to be hurt. He doesn't plan for us to be sad and, and unhappy. He plans for us to have a future and hope. Now, how can the Bible help us to know those plans? Well, that's easy because God wrote down a lot of those plans in his word for us to read. All right, God does have plans for us. He says that he wants to give us a hope and a future. That means that we can trust him to lead us. We may not know everything about our future, but God does. And by following God, we will go the right way. Okay, so I'd like you to think about that. When you say your prayers tonight, I'd like you to thank God for his plans for you. And I want you to remember that sometimes when you feel like Things are going wrong and they don't feel like the way you want your life to go. That could just be God correcting your path to go the, for, to go into the plans he has for you. Okay? So, I will meet you back here next week when we'll be talking about a man named Nehemiah. Have a great week. See you Sunday. Bye-bye.